partial no wonderment have you seen some people they look at buffalo they look at miss world both are same there's no sense of wonderment i'm not joking i've seen in so many workshops i take to all sections of people and especially to the it industry i come from an it hub in bangalore i am known for giving jokes the best of jokes i crack some people especially in the it industry they look at me like this they study my software and hardware but they won't laugh one person was sitting right in front of me i was cracking all jokes he was just like a masal dosa look he was looking at me i asked him why are you not laughing he said why should i laugh any question i ask he says why 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 i asked him what is your name he said why venkatesh <laughs> everything i'm not joking i'm not joking some people there's no wow and still they get married and still they go to honeymoon and they come out from honeymoon exhausted rather than excited and still they have children and they ask me swam ji have written 82 books have you written book for children why my son is serious i said what can i do manufacturer's defect your whole honeymoon yeah like that you have been i am not joking there are some people there is no sense of wow in people there is no sense of wow in one of my workshops that i take you know every 2 hours is a break i take for companies every 2 hours is a break break time i tell them to mix around and some people mess around and one person came back from the break <laughs> with asthma he said swami ji one of your students told me i love you <laughs> i said somebody tells you i love you must be happy no to a buffalo like you somebody still loves you <laughs> see i am modern things in there no sense of wow in people there's no sense of wow all right i mean no sense of wow you miss it you miss the ecstasy of life so whatever happens to your life sir so look at the change and see that wow see the miracle happening your eyes are all blinking yes or no say some of you are doubtfully are saying that <laughs> now winking is your project blinking your voice of blinking isn't it yes or no is it not a wow experience is it not a wow experience no i'm see i'm can see you doubtfully are saying that i tell you there is an ailment where your blinking stops it becomes like this it's a very big nuisance you know then dust particles will come your eyes are blinking isn't it i i, I see that nobody has that problem here all right it's such an experience your eyes blinking because if it stops blinking right there's a kind of paralysis if dust particle goes you will see the problem your eyes are blinking is such a wow it's such an ecstasy all of you went for bathroom today yes or no i don't It's a wow! Say wow! wow. My God, bathroom! Wow! wow. Your kidney is working! Wow! wow. Your liver! Wow. Your heart! Wow. Everything is your. When your wife leaves you, wow! Wow! <laughs> Husband leaves you, wow! Why can't there be a wow experience? All right, because we have not brought this energy in the forefront. so everything you know is becomes complicated serious so the next vismaya yoga bhumika shiva in the shiva sutra says your basis of life should be wonderment all right and with that sense of wow look at the unpredictability of life look at the challenges of life the third paradigm next paradigm please a spiritual paradigm is whatever happens in your life your ground of being should be one of joy anandam brahmet vijanat anandat eva kal vimani bhuta nijayante he says everything is ananda once of joy anything is joy we are all caught up in pleasure pleasure has its place but you are mistaking pleasure to be joy that's another big error 
Right? I, this is a very big topic. I know you had a lot of pleasure yesterday. I am not no, going getting that. Pleasure has its place. But pleasure is not equal to joy. Right? Joy is very, very different. So whatever you do, feel the joy, it's a contextual shift, enjoy what you are doing. So if there's unpredictability, enjoy it. Don't look at it as pain. Because as you start looking, you are going to create that energy. Look at it as joy. Alright, I say whatever you do, enjoy it. Not smoking, drinking, just enjoy. Alright, in Baroda, I was giving a series of talks in Baroda. At the end of my Bhagavad Gita talk, one person came to me, came to me and said, Swamiji, too much of problem, too much of problem. I asked, what is the problem? My wife's problem, Swamiji. I said, what is the problem? See, Swamiji, my wife, right, you are not married, you can give a discourse, you get married to my wife, then you will see what is your problem. <laughs> your name Ananda will go away, he said. I said, what is it you want? See, Swamiji, I'm a businessman, I come home late, and my wife started nagging, my BP went up. All right, went up, I got so angry, I threw the cup and saucer, the TV broke. I thought my wife will be unhappy, I found her happy, she said. Swamiji, if this continues, I'm scared where my VCR will break. To save my VCR, give me a mantra. Not to save the relationship, to save the VCR. So then, I gave him a lot of techniques, breathing techniques, blah, 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 blah. So many techniques, lack of time, I will not dwell. But still, I said, you have to balance between work and home. I gave him some techniques, he will come home a little late, give, bring special gift to her. All right, you talk to her sweetly when you're coming home, but try to balance work and home. All this I said, still you are late, simply enjoy your wife's nagging. He said, how can you enjoy the nagging? I said, do you take alcohol? He said, yes. When you take alcohol, it is what gulab jamun taste. Initially it was bitter, but as you go on taking, taking, you get a kick out of alcohol. All of you know better. You get a kick out of alcohol. I said, same way, your wife's nagging or husband nagging, any of these two, wife nagging, husband, initially it will be like alcohol, you go on enjoying, 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 you will get a kick. <laughs> Which side depends on your position, I said. <laughs> Alright, lot of Gujaratis are very devotional people, you know. Very devotional people, and they were very happy at the end. She prostrated and went away. I'm not joking, it's a true story. After one week, he comes to me and says, Swamiji, it really works what you said. I said, What happened? See, I came home, Swamiji. My wife started nagging. All right, my PP went up. I immediately remembered, enjoy the nagging. I folded my hands, let me enjoy. And for the first time, Swamiji, I realized how wonderfully my wife nags. <laughs> She has not gone through any communication workshops. She is nine standard fail. But in her, so much of communication tips she gave me. And what are the communication? In her nagging there was space, pause, pitch, punctuation, voice modulation, open statement, close statement, funnel technique, multiple clauses, disarming technique and also preemptive strike. My God, all communication skills. All right? And then I said, my God, I saw, why is she nagging me? Because she loves me. My God, I'm so happy she loves me in spite of my being late, in spite of options available, still she loves me. I stopped all logic, I simply went to her, hugged her, I said, I'm sorry, she started crying, I started crying, problem was not solved, problem got dissolved. <laughs> After seven years, I went to Baroda and says, Patel sahab, su kabar che? He said, maja me che. I said, how is the relationship going on? He says, please, nagging continues, my enjoyment continues. <laughs> Your, your problems will continue and your capacity to enjoy should continue. Like a sportsman, every game is going to be difficult, but he enjoys the difficulty. Every game is unpredictable, unpredictably as thrill to the game. All right? And therefore we need to enjoy, meet the challenges of life with enjoyment, with a tremendous passion of enjoyment. And when you start doing that, Please understand, you will not be a victim of hurt, 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 hurt. Every unpredictability hurts us. Hurts us. And sometimes when you get hurt, 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 there is an engram called hurt created in you. 
and when your engram called hurt created in you and your boss says idiot or your boss says monkey you get hurt are your boss says monkey why should you get hurt if your boss calls you monkey simply look here look here make sure there are no monkeys doubly check up yourself sometimes genetical changes can happen sometimes genetical changes are called darwin we come from monkeys and simply tell him sir go to an ophthalmologist and get your eyes checked up but he says monkey you say donkey he says buffalo you say bulldog all because you have a doubt i may be a monkey so why should you get hurt if somebody calls you a monkey tell me friends the word please listen very deeply to me somebody calls you a monkey what how can the word monkey hurt word monkey is just monkey just word monkey that's all somebody calls you an idiot means just idiot simply one thoda hawa hai is just a breeze from his mouth idiot who you have to give me attacking oh i am phd somebody said how can you be an idiot phd means what permanent head damage that's all are <laughs> if you are phd you are not an idiot why get hurt and even if you are an idiot it is a statement of fact 